Hello and welcome back to the driver's room. This is the Endurance Championship and we are at Dragon Trail International Raceway, the gardens layered for season four, round seven of the tier two championship. Now before we see the guys get underway, we'll just take a quick dive down to the grid and see how they got on during qualifying. On pole, breaking Martin Bede's current run of pole positions is Comrade Mitos on Super Softs. Second is Martin B on Super Softs. Third is Yaganat on Super Softs. Fourth is Flapjack on Super Softs. Fifth, Steven on Super Softs. Sixth, Boobo Lupo, Racing Softs on the front, Super Softs on the rear. Jules is in seventh on Super Softs. Spooky Lukey is in eighth on Super Softs. Ninth, we've got JC on softs. Tenth, we've got Mangino on super softs. And eleventh is Daz on softs. So that's your grid for round seven of tier two. Let's run down to the front of the grid and see how they get on when the lights go out and they hit the track in anger. So we join the front of the grid now. The guy's getting ready for the lights to come on. As we hear the revs build and... Watch for Yaganat in third position in that 08. And look at him go in the 08 GTI. He soars off along with Steven who's diving through the pack past the 16. GTI of Mitsos and the two Hondas also get absolutely swallowed up by those fast start in 2008 cars. So Yaganat has launched himself up into the lead. Steven is now under attack by Flapjack. Flapjack looking to take the inside line down towards the hairpin. Flapjack is up into second. A great move by Flapjack. Steven drops down to third. He's now got Mitsov scrolling all over the back of him. Mitsov just backs off slightly. These cars are extremely quick and they grip like hell due to the uh, downforce they've got from the aero packages, but they really don't like following each other. They uh, Once they get in the aero wash, they become very unstable sometimes. This is a win that uh, Jagannath really needs. As we see, I didn't even notice this, but 
Martin B is dead in fifth. And look, he's way off the track. He's keeping it in a straight line, but that's going to give the ones behind him the run on him. Bubo Lubo is closing up behind him. Martin B really struggling to start this race, and off he goes. He's hit the barrier. He's into the gravel, but keeps it going. He's having an absolute mare of an opener of this race. Mangino is now crawling all over the back of him. JC is following behind. It looks like somebody else is driving Martin's car. He's just going backwards and backwards. JC making a little room for himself there. As he tries to go up the inside of Martin B, but Martin just keeps him at bay for now. The championship leader is down in seventh. And the guy in second place in the championship, Yaganat, is sitting up there in first place. He's going to be praying he can run away with this. And Martin can't recover. Oh, I don't know what happened to JC there, but... He seemed to spear the uh, barrier and. Oh, he's having an absolute mare now, JC. Let's go down and we'll run through the grid and see what way it's shaped up as we're into lap three. So you've got Yaganat out in first position. Flapjack is sitting in second. Steven is in third. Mitsos has fallen down to fourth. Pubarubo in fifth. Mangino in seventh. Martin B is down in seventh. Spooky Dookie is in eighth. Followed by Jules in ninth. Daz in tenth. And then JC away off the back in eleventh after that last corner incident. Just take a look here and see what this means currently in the championship standings. Bear with me if we just leave you with Yaganat for a second. She will hop on board with him while I just look this up. Martin B has, oh, he has a 28 point advantage over Flapjack. Yaganat is down in 68 points in third actually, so he's 30 points behind him. It's in a grand scheme of things, uh, the championship is already sewn up. There's nothing the boys can do about Martin now. It's uh, purely a fight for second between Flapjack and Yaganat, and Yaganat's gonna take a point advantage if he can hold on to this position here even with flapjack in second there's the guy's head there and you see how bumpy that's that finish straight is the cars going up and down that they on the waves. Steven has fallen all the way down to ninth and Mangino down to eleventh. What's happened? We need to go back and take a look. Drama while I was looking up. The standings, give me two seconds, let's go back and take a look. So we're back with Steven. He's just going through the twisty infield section. Oh, he just runs wide out onto the gravel. Oh, and as he's recovering, he gets absolutely nailed by Bubo Lubo. 
it seemed to be another one of those uh, can't see each other things because Boomer Lubos kept going. It's a full frontal damage, but he seemed to go in through Stephen and then fire Stephen across the road. And Stephen's got full rear, well, not full rear damage, but full left hand damage. God doesn't really want to turn that well now. So that's what happened to Stephen. Let's find out what happened to Mungino. Join Mungino going through turn one. Oh, he just gets out onto the grass and the car gets uh, completely pulled off track. He's got dirty tyres at this point and the car doesn't want to go left or right. He jumps across. Jeez, they're all jumping across it. It looks like we've entered one of those truck races uh, out in Australia. <laughs> Three cars launching themselves over that final part of that chicane. That's what happened to Mungino. He's dead last. Yaganat is uh, just stretching out his lead at the front now, but the front three are breaking away quite well. Uh, Martin it B is up to fourth and in a gap by himself. Let's see what the time in gaps are. Yeah, and that's put out 2.5 lead now over Flapjack was 1.4 over Mitsos. Martin B another 4.3 back. 3.2 back to Spooky Dookie then. Mung and Steven way off the back now and both going into the pits. The tail of the 208 GTRs, one is at the front of the pack, the other one's dead last now. Martin has got up past Comrade, we've missed that one. Comrade's also been done by Spooky. And Booba Luba. Oh, look, he's been off again. He's got front damage and full engine damage. Uh, hopefully he can stay out the way people don't know. He's just got rid of damage and as normal. Grand Tourism gets rid of damage at the wrong moment and helps you die. Steven come back out on super softs, Mangano on softs. See what way they can go through the race now, making up places. Yeah, I'm gonna have a flapjack now, just trying to check out and pull away. They know Martin's in third. Spooky is trying to go with Martin. He's uh, keeping him in sight. He's having a good run so far. Spooky, excuse me, he seems to be enjoying uh, enjoying this combo more than he enjoyed Tokyo last time, man. Jules dives into the pits. That's gonna uh, free up Booba Lubo. And Daz, Mitsos is also passed. 
JC's also and other pets. Jumped ahead a little bit, uh, lap 8, 11 minutes in. As you see Yaganat and Flapjack are in the pits, and Man B is flying down the start finish straight. Where is he going to be able to go? See Yaganat in the distance, pulling out. Where is Flapjack? Flapjack is coming out. He's just alongside him, and Man is through. Man is at the second place. Again, we're seeing another masterclass drive from this fella, Martin. He's uh, down as far as seventh early on in the race. But lap nine, he is up in the second, hunting down the leader. Uh, so just to us to show that in these endurance races, these hour long endurance races, just because you have a bad start or something happens in the first couple of laps, keep your head down, work at it and you could be fighting for the lead in no time at all. It could go uh, the other way as well, but <laughs> we have to be positive. As Flapjack goes for a lunge down the outside, he just makes it through. He caught... He caught Martin through there. I think that was more a uh, move out of uh, maybe desperation. <laughs> he took too much speed through that uh, top corner, but... Uh, Made the stick anyway. A flapjack back up in the second. I'm sure Martin won't be best pleased about that. Launches it across the uh, chicane there. Bubo Lubo is slowly creeping up behind. These two battling, it will bring him and Spooky more into the fight. Everyone's starting to bunch up a little bit again now. Daz trying to hold off Comrade, but look at that, his tires, he needs to get in the pits. He's going to struggle to hold off Mitsos, who I think is just out on fresh tires. Oh, Daz is struggling, he goes wide. Keeps it pointing in the right direction. Loses a spot to Mitsos. see Martin pitting from third. Daz heads into the pits. That's going to release JC in eight. Camera didn't want to switch back to this normal slot. Mung not having the best of days down in 11th. Uh, neither Stephen in 10th, but he's got uh, Dad in front of him on cold tyres, so he might be looking to get past him. He just gets a better launch out of the corner, but Daz is having none of it. Daz in the 16 model, Stephen in the 08, so Daz had a little bit more once the turbo spooled up. That's why Stephen got a bit of a better exit at the corner, you didn't have to wait for a turbo with it being naturally aspirated.
up up the stairs, go boo 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 boo, being haunted by modern now. Oh, boo boo just takes too much curb and that spins him across the track. That's gonna give. It's gonna give Martin the position and Spooky. Hopefully they can see each other this time, unlike uh, Tokyo, which was uh, probably the side of the funniest thing I have seen in uh, do commentary for the driver's room. If you haven't seen it, uh, do go back and have a look at the last video for this tier. Uh, Tokyo Central in a loop, Brain 6. Uh, it's, it's at the start and with the opening laps between these two. It's perfect game. The fight seems to be over for now. Everybody else seems to be socially distancing themselves from each other. So we're at the halfway mark, we've jumped a bit forward here as uh, everything uh, became a little bit static. Much happening between the guys. Got a flapjack. Yaganat uh, now in first. Flapjack is in second. Martin B is still in third. He's trying to hunt down uh, uh, those two at the front after his uh, poor start. Still going. Mitzos is in fourth. Spooky Lukey in fifth. Booba Lubo in sixth. Steven in seventh. We got Mangino now up into eighth. Daz going across the gravel. Was in ninth, now in tenth. We got Jules in ninth. Daz tenth. JC in eleventh. commitment there from mine. You see Steven has dived into the pit. Gonna promote a monkey now. Not Jules, he's a little bit too far back. Mung is actually gonna come out just behind Steven. Didn't quite make it through. But he does now. Just had the overspeed from being out on track. And warmer tyres, Steven was a uh, sitting duck. Just went a little bit defensive there, but uh, realizes Steven's too far back. Yaganat yeah, now has a 7.9 lead over Flapjack. 5.6 over Martin B. And 14 seconds back to Mitsos. As you can see, the gaps are extremely stretched about the only ones who are close on the track, Mangino and Steven. Pupalupo well held and controlled. I'm 
Gino has just set up. Purple Sector, he's really got the bit between his teeth there. Martin B into the pits again. As we approach the 35th minute, maybe gonna be resigning himself to the position. Unless something goes wrong for the guys ahead. Because he is some distance back from them now. So up forward to the 50th minute, lap 37. And uh, things are as we were. Jagannath in first, Flapjack in second, Martin P in third, Comrade Mitsos in fourth, Boobaloobo fifth, Spooky Doogie is in sixth, Steven is in seventh, and Ghost in Mr. Burnoff a uh, penalty. Jules in eighth, Daz in ninth. We've lost JC and we've also lost Mungino. Field is extremely spread out now. Jules being lapped. We'll jump on board with Jagannat for a flying lap. Low fuel run with our race leader. He's been magnificent today. Launched this. 08 car off the line, they start like absolute bullets compared to the 16s. And uh, he launched off the line and never looked back. And that's where he has stayed for the whole race. Say Jagannath really has this beast tamed. Great driving there from the race leader. Flapjack's trying his hardest, but I think he's running out of time to catch. Jagannath, he hasn't managed it so far in the race, so he's probably not going to manage it in the next six minutes. As we see, Martin B now is setting the fastest lap of the race. Mitsos is looking like he's short of tyres and fuel. Those tyres are terrible. Some of the guys are really pushing these tyres a long way lately. He's using every single strip of rubber he's paid for. Diving in the pits for some reason. For a brand, brand new set of racing super softs because it's slightly warm ones. Obviously not new enough. <laughs> he's got that bigger gap back to Jules. He's maybe just trying to go for 
fastest lap. We're into the last five minutes now. Metzos is diving into the pits finally. He really needed it. <laughs> he had nothing left on that front right and the tank was running dry. It's gonna give Spooky a little bit of hope. He would have seen him popping out in front of him there. Spooky can maybe push, close the gap and uh, steal fourth place. Still got a little bit of time. He's going to be gaining time for this first bit of the lap where Mitsos gets those tyres back up to temperature, but uh, now Mitsos should be up and running. Let's just see him taking a little bit of the grass. There's the gap between them. Ooh, 4.6. Yeah, it's probably nowhere near enough time for that, actually. There's a booba -lubo. A decent run today, a couple of mistakes here and there, but it's done well. Stephen just said a purple sector by the looks of it. We'll stick with him and see if he can finish it out. Did that uh, tire gamble work? It's going to be worth an extra point if it is. He's going by he's four tenths up. Just needs to keep it together now for the end of the lap. No mistakes there, get your breaking point, get the turn in right. No lockups, no understeer. Great exit. He surely got it. And he has lost a touch of time, but he's still three tenths up on the fastest lap with a 121.5. So he had enough time, enough space to make a pit stop for brand new tyres and get back in, so he did. And now he has the fastest lap. Wise head and making sure he gets any points available that he can get his hands on. starting to become low on these cars now but uh, they've got still got two laps to go uh, by the time they make it across the line it will, uh, it will be less than two laps with one more lap left for this man and he's gone past that point now. So Jagannath's coming round to start his final lap. One point three down on his fastest but uh off the fastest but he won't be pushing for fastest slap now he's just cruising to get back to the checkered flag he's on enough gap over flapjack is manageable same for this guy to say just cruising out try and make it back with a tiny piece of fuel Is, is Bubu and Ubo gonna go for one more lap or is he gonna sit and wait? Nobody can catch him. He's not gonna lose a place to Steven if he waits. Oh, he's gonna go for it. You see Taz waiting by the line. 
Oh, Jules is close to running in. That's the hooligan at the line. As we see Yaganat coming up to round the final corner. Power his way down the straight. Celebratory wiggle down the start finish straight. A great drive from Yaganat. As Daz is doing donuts across the line. Steven does a handbrake turn. Flapjack comes second. Jules comes home in eighth. Martin's coming home in third. Just didn't quite have the pace to catch the lads today. Comrade Mitsos is going to come home in fourth. <coughs> Excuse me. Spooky Loogie is going to come home in fifth. Booba Lupo in sixth. Stephen finished seventh. Jules finished eighth. Daz finished ninth. We lost two drivers in the race. Monkino and JC. So that's it for round seven. As we said at the start there, Martin B has already shown up the championship. So we'll see you for the final round next week to see how the rest of the promotion places pan out.